Hey guys, so this will be my last video for a little while because of some personal things, so I shouldn't be on too long, so hopefully I'll be back soon making videos with the final panel and I can't wait. And I'm going to miss making videos and all the love and everything, so don't miss me too much and yeah, hopefully I will see you guys very soon. Or I guess that you guys will see me very soon. Yeah. Okay, so embarrassing stories time. I have a few, and they're not really that embarrassing, but they're kind of funny, at least to me. Um, I watched Grimace's video, and his poop in the bathtub thing, like, brought up a memory that I totally forgot about. But I was probably, like, I was really little, and I was, like, I would have, my grandparents on my dad's side, and I think I was probably around three or so, and I told my grandma that I needed to go to the bathroom, like, I needed to poop and she wouldn't let me get out of the bathtub. And every single time I got into the bathtub, just before, my mom would always say, Kayla, do you need to go to the bathroom? And be like, no. So then, just as you sit down and you hit that cold water or whatever, and you're like, oh, I have to pee. So bad. And then I'd be like, just stay in there, hold it. But most kids pee in whatever they want to. So, anyways. I took a dump in the bathtub at my grandparents' house because my grandma wouldn't let me out of the toilet, or out of the toilet, out of the bathtub. That was kind of embarrassing, but not. Anyways. Ew. Um, yeah, so I pooped in the bathtub, and I remember my grandma having to scoop it out. <laughs> so nasty. So I'm just gonna... Whatever, I don't even feel bad for her because I told her many of times that I needed to go and she didn't listen. And another embarrassing story. Mm, when I was growing up, I had a very long, awkward stage and I looked like a very fat boy. That was probably one of my very embarrassing things. And also, I didn't stop losing my baby teeth until I was probably like 17. So, like... I remember I was probably like 16 and I just lost these teeth right here. So whenever I'd, and they didn't grow back for like a really long time. Like I remember when these teeth were like half the size that they were. Like I was like 18 and they were like, ugh, we might need to fix that. And I was like, no. But they grew, thank God. So there's that. It's pretty embarrassing when you got like fucking holes in your smile. And everyone would always be like, oh, you have the cutest smile. Ugh, no. Yuck. Um, what else is there? I used to have a really, really, really long blonde hair. It was very curly, too, when I was little. And this isn't really embarrassing, but it's a lesson to learn for all of you who didn't have to go through this. But, don't fall asleep with gum in your mouth because you'll have to get it cut off. And I remember my mom getting so pissed off about it because I had really nice blonde hair and then she had to get her friend to cut it all off because I fucking I chewed gum and it fell asleep, got stuck in there and they tried peanut butter and like they tried thinning it out and it just wasn't coming out so they had to ch chop it off. So that sucks. Um, another, I don't really have embarrassing stories. A funny one that my mom will never forget. I was probably three or four, and we were living with her parents because she, like, recently split with my real dad. And I went to say goodnight to my grandpa, and he was already in bed. And he was under his blanket, so he didn't have a shirt on. And I went and said goodnight and gave him a kiss, and he was my hero. I followed him everywhere. And I went into my room, and my mom and grandma were standing in there talking, and then my mom was, like, taking my shirt off, so she put my pajamas on. And then she was, like, and then she was, like, and then I was, like, I want to sleep in my skins, too, like, grandpa. And then they started laughing at me because I just added this S to the end of skin. So I was, like, I want to sleep in my skins, too. With that accent. And that's exactly how I talked when I was little. So those are, I guess, a few of my funnier stories that I have. I don't really have many embarrassing things, just the fact 
and I was a fatty. I looked like a boy. I was a huge tomboy, but I was a fat tomboy. Ugh. Gotta love life and the awkward moments. But I can say that I am, like, damn fine now, even though I'm not really. But I'm pretty sexy compared to what I was. And will I ever show you a picture? Hell no, I won't. So that's the last Thursday with me for a while, so take it all in because I know that you're going to miss me. Even if you don't say it. But I'll know. So anyways, have a great weekend. And don't forget it's Valentine's on Sunday. So you better get cracking on that. And even if you don't have a lover, get something for your mom or something. Anyways, guys, have a great week. And take care of yourself. And be safe. Bye, guys.